Greetings and salutations, Mega Wizard 79 here with another episode of Bloodborne. So, um, the reason I'm in here, and not out there where you last saw me, is because, um... Okay, so... Whoa. You shouldn't be able to do that. Anyway, so that guy there... I don't know how his tracking works, but... My goodness. Okay, so look, see? He comes up there, boom, and then he just goes back. He leashes. He's technically not supposed to go any farther than that, but he actually not only... Yeah, see, look. He keeps getting closer and closer. He's not supposed to be able to do that, actually. Um, He's supposed to just stay in there. He's not supposed to, like, come all the way out here. And then... When I saw him that close while I was uh, getting ready, I'm like, okay, how about I... See, he's doing it again! Like, see? He, it's like, what the heck? I better switch over to this just to be safe. But it's like, I, I don't understand. He's not supposed to do that. <laughs> Anyway, but yes, we are back now in Old Yarnum, and we are going to proceed onward to go deal with the, uh, <clears throat> with the Cleric Beast. Now, I'm not going to deal with Mr. Gatling Gun in this episode, or any subsequent episodes for a good while, because, uh, well, actually no, I'm going to deal with him as soon as I defeat another boss, who I will immediately have access to after I defeat, um the cleric beast so eh, if everything goes to plan that should be within like two or three episodes from now give or take fingers crossed <laughs> anyway but yeah like my goodness he's not supposed to do that he's literally not supposed to do that <laughs> anyway okay so let's just go this way yep okay get lost honestly I really hate that guy. What the heck? What's hitting him? What the heck is he doing? Um... What is your AI? You are weird. Anyway. Okay, so... This is the way you go if you want to get to Jura, but, um, obviously I'm not going to, um, what do you call it, uh, I'm not going to mess with him. Um, I will be going this way, however, because it'll let me get the drop on the beasts inside that, uh, church over there. Because if you're going through the front door, all you're doing is just going right into their teeth. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. So, yeah, so this is the way you go if you want to get to, uh, our good, good, good friend. Now, obviously, he's aggroed. He's not going to have any of my nonsense. No, no, no. And honestly, I, I don't want to kill him. I like him. I actually like his dialogue. But yeah, see? Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that. He already knows I'm here. Yeah. Get a look at him, though. He's got the stake driver. He's got a... I think that's just a plain old hunter pistol. But yeah, this guy... Uh, this guy is no joke. You do not want to screw around with him. Anyway, so, we just jump down here. I don't know if it's because I have insight or something, but man, like... What a weird sound. Alright, let's see into him. You see, the issue is, is that if you came in through the front door, this guy would have jumped down on top of you and just, uh, yeah, made your life a living hell. Alright, so... I'm going to put out my light for a sec, because I want to set off a little nasty trap here. I think it's like right there. Like, there's a chandelier you can knock down. Ah, here it is. Yep. You just cut that. And boom! <laughs> yeah, you just took out a good three or like, you know, like... I want to say, like, two or three beasts, easily. Eh, sorry, itchy ear again. But yeah, 
Oh, uh, man, I, I, that never gets old. I love doing it. All right, let me just check and see. All right, I don't see any other items up here. Except for this one, obviously. More madman's knowledge. We want that. Mostly just for the insight shop. Not because I want to make the game harder for me by any stretch of the imagination. No, thank you. Okay, so. Now, all you do is just, just drop a... Wow. Man, I'm slurring my words a lot lately. Alright, so all we do is just drop down here. Yeah, they already know I'm here. Molotovs, not bad. Alright, so to get to that item, all you have to do is just jump. Which I failed at spectacularly, by the way. Oh, well. Alright. Nothing here. My goodness. Ooh, no, I don't want any of that. Hang on. Ugh. Seriously, my ear. Ugh. All right, let's see. Eh. Oh. I missed. But yeah, you see when they... Ow! When they do that scream, they get a buff. Alright, now I'm all out. Well, unless I use my... There we go. Yes, by all means, scream to your heart's content. No one's coming to save you. All right. Oh, there's another one. Ah, oh, he's all the way down there. And there's one more above me. We'll get to him in a sec. Alright, I don't... Yeah, it's like up that st up those stairs. Ooh, can't believe I'm all out of silver bullets. <laughs> oh, well, it's alright. Ah, here we go. Ritual blood. That's actually very useful. Because those are the materials you need for your first chalice dungeon. Now, on the topic of chalice dungeons... Hmm... I'm not entirely sure if I want to do chalice dungeons, to be honest. Um... I mean, they're cool and all, I suppose. But that being said... And... Man, I have, like, no range with this thing, but... Eh, whatever. Who needs range when you got damage like that? <laughs> but yeah, um... Ooh. I see. Something's getting upgraded. Oh. There's another item over there. Alright. We'll just have to go and get that. It's easy enough. We just jumped down. I mean, we've wasted everyone here. We have nothing to worry about. Oh, right. You. Get wrecked. Yeah, you see, the issue with all these guys is that when they scream, they uh, they literally do call. My goodness, my ear today. <sighs> but yeah, they actually do. Uh, like the other the other beasts, they actually do hear this. Ah, here we go. This is where we get that item. Or I think, or maybe it's above. No, there's nothing above me but scaffolding. Uh, let's see, there's that item over there. Yeah, it has to be, yep, there it is, right, be right beneath me. Sorry if I'm making you guys sick, uh, fidgeting with this camera all over the place. But I'm just trying to be thorough. Alright. Anyway. 
But yeah. Um, for the most part, um, not entirely sure. Oh, and yeah, that's a cleric beast. That is literally the boss we're gonna be fighting. I mean, that's not the cleric beast. Oh, sorry. Wow. Blood starved beast. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, that's not the blood starved beast, but that's a blood starved beast. Anyway. So, we just go this way. Let me just climb the ladder over here. Now be careful because that hunter can actually come all the way down here for whatever reason and actually deal damage to you like a jerk. Could damn near one shot you if you're not careful. Alright. Quiet. Why am I saying quiet? I mean, nice and uh, slow and junk. Anyway, but yeah, that that jump is really not that hard. It's just uh, I didn't do it right is the problem. All right. Let's see. All right. Seriously, what is going on here? Wow. Yeah. What the heck? Why am I not jumping? <sighs> I'm starting to see why people find the whole, uh... Oh, and I missed! But yeah, I'm starting to see why... People are annoyed by the whole uh, button mashing to get across. Especially since I'm kind of concerned that my controller... It may be on its last leg. I don't know. It's not as responsive as it used to be. I might have to go and uh, purchase a new one. Which uh, is not exactly something I'm looking forward to. I mean, a new controller is not necessarily in my budget. But enough about real words. Wow, what the heck? Oh my goodness, my diction. But yes, enough for, enough about real world nonsense. Let's just focus on the game. But yeah, um, I don't even know if that item's even any good. Like uh, this is this is easily my least played game of all the. Um, Miyazaki games, anyway. Like, I don't... Whoa. I forgot. There we go. See? It's really not that hard. It's not, it's not hard. Bloody messenger headband. Oh, yeah. It's just a... Uh, it's just a messenger item. <sighs> That's what it was. That's why it's not... Yeah. I mean, it's an item. I mean, it's... Oh, wow. I didn't know you could do this. Oh, well. Anyway. But yeah, it's an item, and I guess that's cool and all, but eh. It's not one that I particularly like or use. Anyway. Alright, now. Oh, yeah. Real subtle. Okay, so. I think there are just crows and stuff over here. Yep. Be gone, demons! Oh. Gonna send you back to hell. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. They drop antidotes too. That's their rare drop. Yay! They're showering me in these, and I'm happy for it. Alright, so there is a wandering madness over there. I mean... You can literally see him. There he is. There. 
So you don't, um, be warned though, he can hear and see you from all the way over here, so be careful. If you make too much noise, he's just gonna go poof. Alright, and then, yep, that's the, uh, burning cathedral that I left behind. Alright. I don't remember if there's another one over here, but I don't think so. I think it's just the one. Wow, thank you. That's generous. Alright, so... Alright, that's the way we want to go. But we... But we have to go this way. This is a very useful little shortcut that I'm about to show you. Not only does it let you not have to go through that cathedral anymore, but... If you time it right... Here, I'll show you. So what you want to do is aggro this guy, get his attention. Make sure he's following you. Here he comes. Come over here. Go down about, yeah, yay much. And... Come on. I know you want to. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, here he comes. Bye! <laughs> His AI is so stupid! <laughs> Oh. Seriously, there's really no reason to fight him. This is the easiest way to kill him. And there you go. And that's all he gives you, though. Just bone marrow ash. <laughs> but, gosh. Um, actually, before I go where he was, I am going to go and open another shortcut really quick. It's just right over here. And this shortcut you'll get mileage out of, trust me. Alright, so, as you know, there are enemies inside that fog, and they come out and blah this, blah that. Well, not in this one, but in some of them. Like, I think this one? There he is! Yeah, see? They all hide in that. There we go. Taken care of. But yeah, they uh, they hide in that mist. They also like crouch on the ground, so you gotta be careful. All right. But yeah, trust me, this shortcut is so useful. You don't want to you don't want to miss your chance. All right, so that guy over there, he's gonna be patrolling, but don't worry about him. He's not important. Um, what you want to worry about is uh, let's see. It's not that way that we want to go. It's I think it's this way. Oh wait, no, this uh no, yeah, that's right. This way is a complete dead end cuz this is another shortcut that is also very useful, but it only opens from that side. Um well, I wouldn't really call it a shortcut, so to speak. I mean, it kind of is, but it isn't at the same time. All right, there he is. Come on. Uh-oh. Yeah, see what I mean? They're so passive when you have fire out. Oh no, get off me. Get off me. But yeah, see? They are so passive when you have, well, usually. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> I knew I should have just ran past them. I should have just ran past them, blast it all, and now I go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, well, that's fine. You can literally just run this way now. Like, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to use that uh, other shortcut. <sighs> I mean, I don't really need to, but yeah, I'm just going to do that. Yeah, the issue is, is that there's only one lantern in this entire zone, and it's right here. I'm pretty sure Jura did that on purpose. He might have destroyed all the others. But yeah, he's going to start shooting it. I don't think he shoots you from here. No, he can't. You're too far away. Yeah, just ignore everyone. They're not worth it. His bullets are just as vulnerable to them. Nope. Alright. Now, fortunately, you are safe here. Um, for the simple fact that, uh, because that hunter's dead... He can't hurt, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about his, uh, bullets. 
And there we go. See? No, uh, really quick. Easy peasy. Now, let us go and exact our revenge. And also get back those blood echoes. Because that's 11 grand that I have no interest in using. Uh, losing. That's what I mean to say. I have every interest of using them. I just don't want to lose them. Alright, so... I think he... Yep, there he was. He wasn't in it. He was around the corner. And here come the others. Come here, you coward. Get wrecked. There we go. See how much more manageable they are? Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure those damn wolves have my... No, they do not. It's right there. Alright. Let's just grab it quick. Ah, Welcome home. Alright, now then. Now what I want to do is I want to separate these two. As best I can, anyway. Because the issue is, is that, man, these guys are not... Alright. Come on. Come on. Ah, screw you. Ah, here he comes. Alright. No, that's not what I want. There we go. As you can see, these guys have no poise, but they do hit pretty hard. Yeah, there we go. And they're very vulnerable to piercing damage. Yes. Yes. That's what I want. I want those types of drops. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, as I was saying, now, yeah, it's right over there in that at that door. So once you cross this bridge over here. Um, don't go that way just yet, because that's where that... Yep, there he is. That's where that wolf is. He's programmed to jump down the moment you go for an item. Alright, now here he comes. Yeah, he's supposed to, like... Ow! No! Oh, come on! I just... Uh... <laughs> you jerk! The shortcut was right there. Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have jumped out in front of him. I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but... Mm! Ugh, these deaths. I hate these deaths because they they just add unnecessary amount of time. And now I'm definitely not going to fight the Blood Star Beast in this episode. At the very least, I just wanted to clear the zone. But there's still so much zone left to clear. I keep forgetting about jump attacks. I usually, I never use them, to be honest. Alright. See you guys. Nope. There we go. So yeah, you never want to get stuck in that shooting animation because he, uh, he'll stun lock you. He will literally stun lock you. There we go. But yeah, those bullets, they're actually just as vulnerable to the, um, to the enemies as they are to you. Alright. Get wrecked. Alright, next. There we go. Onesie twosies. That's it, come on. There we go. As you can see, these guys are really easy to just stun lock. You should not be afraid of them by any sense of the imagination. They are very weak. Alright, there's another one. 
Just make sure you don't get caught in their grab. And don't get greedy either. <laughs> Alright. Yep, there he is. It's a good thing he doesn't do that whole jumping thing anymore. No! 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 You are not cheating me out of, out of those. Honestly. <sighs> okay, now. Pick that up. Now you want this. Alright, where are you? There you are. So, this guy and one other schmuck are really the only ones you have to worry about. That's a shortcut. Like, it, it, it's literally like a drop point that you just use to traverse this little tower. Now he's like, right? Yep, there he is. Now you can literally just run past him, actually. He won't aggro. It's the guy at the bottom of the stairs you have to worry about only. Alright. Da-da-da-da! We'll get there in a minute. There's just one more item we need to get all the way up here. There it is. Two more fire paper. All the good stuff. Alright. And see? We're right back over here where we met that, uh, crawling nightmare. And we just climb up here. Now, I really don't have to... Yeah, I think I will, though. I'm only doing this because I really just don't want to have to keep worrying about these damn blood echoes. So, I know it's going to add a little extra time, but I am going to go back to the dream just to uh, deposit these, if you will, in me. Because now that we have that shortcut open, it's so much easier to traverse this zone. Besides, I can upgrade so much stuff now. Like, my flame sprayer. That thing needs all the love. <laughs> Gonna make that thing so powerful. <sighs> but yeah, I'll probably... Uh, to be honest, I think I might just end the episode here. After I finish upgrading. Now, I don't necessarily last at all. I meant to use it all at once. There we go. Alright. Okay, let me see. What does this thing scale with? Um... Right, Arcane. That's what it scales with. Uh, let me think. So does this. So yeah, I can make that stronger too. Um... You know, I have not fixed my equipment in a while. I better do that toot sweet before I run out of money. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. There we go. Yeah, if you use the torch as a weapon, it'll probably it'll be like the only thing you. What's this? A holy chalice is said to be enshrined in old Yarnum, seated in the bat. Oh yeah, that's right. So yeah, basically, uh, that's just. Uh, after you uh, talk to him about chalices, he'll uh, that little note will appear there, so he doesn't always have to be there, you know, so they can maintain their whole like appearing and disappearing old man gimmick. Right, well, I guess since I'm here, I might as well show you. Okay, so this is the bloodied messenger bandages, and this is the little ribbon. Yeesh. Look how demented that looks. I prefer this one. Mostly because it matches my attire. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. I killed that guy. I wonder if I can buy his equipment. Oh yeah. Once you kill the witches of Hemli uh, Hemwick... Uh, you can, uh, get, um, bloodshot eyeballs at the insight shop. It costs you two insight, though, a piece. Uh, no, it doesn't look like I can buy his equipment here. What about here? Sometimes they sell the equipment of hunters you kill. 
Mm, nope. Not yet. Alright. Alright, enough dilly dallying though. Welcome, what is it? Over time, the great old. Alright. Very well, let me. Okay, let's see what I want to do here. Um. I could make that 230. That wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> wow, I have to put like at least like, ugh, that is not beneficial at all. Um, I know health will be, health will definitely be useful, so we'll stamina. Um... Alright, so I'll put... I'll put one point into stamina, one point into health, and... Yeah, one into strength. There we go. Alright. Farewell, good hunter. May you f And now for the rest of the stuff... Let's see what I can upgrade. Uh... I, wow, I have so many! <laughs> Uh, yes. Okay, oops. Let's see. It's funny that you can upgrade the torch. That's hilarious. But I do want to upgrade the flame sprayer. And probably... Probably the hunter's pistol, too. Alright, so... First the flame sprayer. Then the pistol. So now that the pistol's been upgraded, I can now put a blood gem into it. Well, that, I upgraded the repeater pistol, of course. Hmm... I mostly use this for parrying, so I don't, uh, this will be the one I'll use if I want to do for damage, but this will be my parrier. So, I don't really need to upgrade this one. I'll just be focusing on these two. Wow. Does it already have a, did I already make it have a seat? Hmm. Alright, so. Oh, I can upgrade both, actually. One there. Okay, there we go. So now they're both at plus two. Now let's, uh... uh all I have is this. Blood attack up. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. Now for the axe... Do I have anything good? Anything new for these guys? Um... Yeah, this is literally the best one I have currently have equipped for my... Yeah. What about... Yeah, and I only have one for that. Okay, so for him... What's this? Skill, scale, and... Eh, that only works for skilled type weapons. Alright, so we'll do that. And I guess we'll do that. Yeah. That'll work. I think I might sell these two just because they're completely useless at the moment. Hmm. I don't know. Alright. I guess that'll work. For now. And then for the rest of my blood vo uh, blood echoes, I guess I'll just buy stuff. Probably, um... Let's see. Yep. Always bullets. And then the rest for that. There we go. Alright. Now let's just deposit the excess uh, Molotovs, because I never like carrying all of them. Hmm? Oh, one more. There we go. I always like carrying at least. I, I just like carrying three. Alright, uh, that's fine. I don't need this right now, but I better keep it on me because I'll probably forget it. Alright, um, yeah, I think I'm good. Got my lucky coin. This is ritual material, which is fine. Put the torch away, put that away. Keep the repeater pistol. Alright, so... That one I'm putting away. Alright, and then the rest of that I'll probably sell. Actually, is there a difference between... Hmm. 
Yeah, there's a slight, and I mean slight difference. This one has more blunt damage defense, but it has less frenzy resistance and beasthood. While this one has more beasthood and frenzy resistance, but less blunt defense. That's funny. But everything else is the same, which means I can actually sell that stuff. Ah, but I won't bore you with that. I've already bored you enough. Alright, so, in the next episode, we will continue on. I will show you a secret area in, um, the, uh, old Yarnum. And then, maybe I'll be able to squeeze in the boss. But until that time, though, this is Mega Wizard 79 Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, bidding you all adieu.